we decided to do our pre-sale on a Polish crowdfunding site, uh, polakpotrafi.pl. Uh, we decided to do this because uh, it would allow us to write the description in Polish as well as support payment methods that were convenient for Poles, uh, which makes sense since the uh, majority of uh, my audience is uh, from Poland. And the product that we're pre-selling is uh, geared primarily, well, really geared only, to uh, native speakers of Polish learning English. Um, however, there's a number of uh, reasons to get involved, even if you aren't a Pole or you aren't learning English. Uh, for example, uh, if you give uh, 20 złoty, uh, which is about $6, you can get a postcard from the USA uh, if you're not based in the USA and you're interested in that particular country. Uh, you can give 100 złoty and get access to a webinar uh, and Q&A session about learning a language by yourself. Uh, which I'll do in both English and Polish, so you can uh, attend the English version if you'd like. Um, or for uh, 20 people, actually 19 at the time of recording this video, the project just went live, um, I don't know, maybe a half an hour ago, um, you can become a founding member of BiblioBird and get lifetime access to all of the paid products that we create in the future, including uh, products for learning languages other than English or for language groups uh, other than Poles. So, uh, I'm making this video to show you how to use this website even though you do not speak Polish. So, uh, click the link uh, that you got on my blog or in the uh, subscriber email and you'll end up on this page. Uh, there is this big green button here. Click on that. All right, here you can select your award uh, or put in any amount in Zwote. That's the Polish currency. The currency code is PLN. Uh, it probably makes the most sense to uh, select an award um, unless you just want to, to give me money because you think I'm awesome. Um, the 20 Zwote is for the postcard from the United States. Uh, the 100 Zwote, which is about uh, $30, is the exclusive webinar and Q&A session, which will be in both Polish and English. Or for the uh, 200 Zwote to become a, a founding member. Um, I don't want to take any prizes away from anyone, any awards from anyone, so I'm just going to give 20 Zwote. And then click this big green button down here. Now you have to make an account in Polak Potrafi. That's your username, uh, email address, password, two times. If you want the newsletter, if you don't speak Polish, probably you don't. Uh, this one to accept the um, regulations. And then a CAPTCHA to retype the picture they give you. I'm not a big fan of CAPTCHA. And then click this big green button here. All right, it shows the amount you're giving. In my example case, 20 złote, and then it would show your award there. Then this big green button will take you to payment. Payment in Poland is kind of interesting. Um, Mostly people do bank transfers directly from one account to another account rather than paying uh, with a debit card or credit card over the internet. So these are actually a whole bunch of Polish banks. But I assume if you don't speak Polish, you probably don't have a Polish bank account. So scroll all the way down to the bottom here and click on this uh, button with uh, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, all those guys. And click the little radio button there and then the big green pay button. All right, there's this very convenient uh, British flag up here. Uh, click on that. It'll warn you that it has to resubmit the page. I think that's okay, so we'll click resend. All right, now the page is partially in English. Uh, you can scroll down to the bottom where, it have, where you have to give your address. And these fields, at least, are in English. The most important of them are probably country and I agree to the terms and conditions of uh, this payment website. I'm going to fill this out uh, not in the video so you don't get to see my telephone number and address, uh, but I'll show you what happens next after clicking this big blue button. 
All right. Um, it's just sent me to this uh, page uh, asking for my credit card information. Uh, everything appears to be in English, so uh, this should be cool. Um, I'll fill it out and then uh, come back and show you what happens after clicking this confirm and pay button. All right, now I get this uh, verified by Visa screen. I assume because I use a Visa, it might be different if you use a different type of credit card, uh, but I'm just going to click continue. Wow, I've never had to do this before, but it's uh, asking me to verify uh, the payment via SMS, so I'm going to put in my uh, cell phone number. Oops, I won't type that until after I go off uh, off camera. Uh, and there goes my cell phone with this SMS. I'm going to enter a verification code in here. All right, we'll click verify. Wow, and we're we're back to uh, Polak Potrafi, and uh, let me return to the project. That's the big green button, and just see if that worked. Uh, it went from three to four, and there we are, my my BiblioBird uh, account. All right, it's quite a few steps, um, and I know working in a in another language is uh, a little difficult, but I I hope that'll be you know at least an interesting sort of adventure, and that there are some people who are motivated enough uh, to go through the trouble of uh, giving to our project, giving to our our pre-sale so we can make our, our product and, and our uh, get closer to realizing our dream. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.